What's up guys, Overdog here. Today we're going to be doing activities for the Alt There testnet campaign. As usual, all links are going to be in the description, but follow them at your own risk. Alt Layer is a scaling solution to Ethereum. Company raised 7.2 million in 2022, and we're probably going to see more funding rounds this year. In May, team announced the Altitude campaign, and currently we have two phases available. And the deadline for both missions is the end of June. Campaigns themselves are hosted at the Galaxy, and I also forgot to mention that in total there are going to be four phases of this Altitude campaign. So after these two phases end, we should have two more phases, hopefully later during the summer. So let's dive in into the actual phase tasks. There are a couple of social tasks, obviously. First of all, go ahead and join the Discord right away and follow the Twitter. Then for on-chain tasks, for phase one, we have deposit and withdraw a Cipolle ETH to and from alt layer testnet. Second task is going to be depositing and withdrawing ERC20 token to and from alt layer. And the third one is depositing and withdrawing ERC721 token. And we can use some links from the Galaxy. There is a link to the bridge. And also one important note, for this testnet we need Cipolia ETH, not girly ETH. For Cipolia faucets I'll link the page from the Tyco documentation. There are a bunch of faucets there. My preferred one is the Alchemy faucet. So here we're connecting the wallet. We're gonna use MetaMask. And what you can actually do right away, you click the arrow and it should suggest to add the network uh, into your MetaMask. This is a multi-sequencer testnet L2. And also one important point here, that there are going to be two different testnets for altitude phase 1 and altitude phase 2. So we are proving, but first of all, according to the task, we need to move some ETH from Cipolia to multi-sequencer testnet L2. We select on the token here. As you can see, this bridge also supports tokens for other tasks. But first, Ethereum. I'm going to do one ETH. We click Deposit. As usual, I suggest using aggressive gas. But it's up to you, really. OK, it took around 30 seconds to execute transaction on the Cipolla side. OK, around 40 seconds later, it also says Deposit Finalized. And we should see the ETH. Yeah, ETH arrived on multi-sequencer testnet. And now we need to bridge it back. Actually, instead of clicking the arrow, you can click on withdraw. It's the same functionality. Okay, again, selecting ETH. And I'm gonna bridge back half of that. Let's see how fast the transaction here is gonna be. Confirming. Uh -huh, it shows multiple phases here. Waiting for verifier to post transaction commitment. Interesting. Okay, it's been a couple minutes, but now it looks like we need to manually finalize the withdrawal. So I assume you're just claiming ETH on Cipolla effectively. All right, now this has been completed and we can go back to home. Next is MSEQ and for that one, First, we need to request it in the faucet and we need to sign in with Twitter. Authorize. And paste our wallet address. It says we successfully claimed tokens and that we can request again in 15 minutes. Okay, now let's go back to the bridge. Okay, and just a minute later, our token arrived. So now let's go ahead and bridge this one. And up to approve, we can go ahead and deposit. Great, we got them. And now let's go ahead and bridge them back. I'll do 50%. Switch in the net. And now withdraw. Okay, that took a while. It was like several minutes. Now we need to switch back to Cipolia and finalize the withdrawal. Okay, we got it. And the last step here, we need to mint ERC721 token. And just open this one. Connecting the wallet here. 
All right. And we need to mint it. You can mint up to 10. I don't know why would you need that, but just in case. It gave us transaction hash just in case. Well, it says minted. Okay, it has been confirmed on Cipolia, I guess. Do we need the ID of the token or not? I'm not sure. Okay, let's just go to the bridge. Back to home. Select token. It detects our NFT. So that's fine. And even detects the IDs of that NFT. So that's perfect. We also need to approve it. Nice. And now deposit. Okay, got it. And now we just need to bridge it back. All right. Switch. Selecting the correct ID and withdrawing back to Cipolia. And once that arrives, we should be done with the phase one. Now on the Galaxy page, it also states that on-chain credential may take up to a week to be populated. And the last update was on June 16th. So this is gonna be updated manually, as far as I understand, every several days. And after that, you can go ahead and claim. This campaign will run until June 30th, 11.59 p.m. UTC time. However, you will have three more days to claim that if you're doing that right at the very end. Okay, around five minutes later, we can claim on Cipolia. Switching and finalizing. All right, now we're moving to phase two tasks. For that, we need to stake on the beacon layer and stake on rollup staking portal. First of all, we need to add the proper network. For this, we can just do it automatically on the website by connecting the wallet. And it should suggest to add the network. Also, if you have any problems with adding the networks automatically, you can do it manually. I will link this page too with all the necessary network information. Next, we're gonna need some alt tokens for staking. For that, we need to go to the faucet, sign in with Twitter. Again, paste in our address and claiming. And we're gonna also need some wrapped ETH for that, we're going to the transfer page. Also connecting wallet. Switching to Cipolia, we're gonna be using ETH on Cipolia here. And I'm gonna deposit some ETH and we'll get wrapped ETH. Okay, it took around six minutes for the alt token to appear in my wallet. Now we can go to the beacon staking page we need to click on manage delegations and select a validator. You can only delegate to the validators who are not at full capacity. These guys with 2250 delegations, they are at full capacity. So we need to pick somebody who is below that threshold. So for example, this one, and I'm going to delegate one alt, click delegate. Okay, the transaction confirmed. As you can see, we have staked one alt and one delegation. And now we need to go to the rollup staking and stake our wrapped ETH on Cipolia. Some error here, connecting MetaMask. Switching to Cipolia. Need to select the node here. I think it doesn't matter what you select. You select the amount of wrapped ETH we need to approve. And now we can stake. There you go, transaction completed. And now this button is active, cool down to unstake. And also we can see the reward window where you can claim some RSRT token rewards. 
So let's check out tasks here. We did stake on the beacon layer and we also staked on rollup staking portal. And you also need to do a couple socials. Now, same as in phase one tasks, these are confirmed manually. And based on the description, they probably gonna be updated at the same time with the phase one tasks. As you can see here, we don't have any OATs, nothing like that, just the points. That's gonna be it. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to drop it down below. If you found video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.